Question 5 is as follows. Study the following picture of the spreadsheet program and answer the questions that follow. Study the following picture of the spreadsheet program and answer the questions that follow. Okay, so what you need to do is you pay attention and study the diagram. So you start the diagram and you pay attention to the items that are recorded as well as the columns there and everything you just pay attention you pay attention to a b and c there every part that is labeled as well as the prices okay now once i've done that then we can go to the actual questions so uh, when you forget uh, how the diagram look like or what is on the diagram please you can go back and refer to the diagram so that you are sure of what you are writing okay so question 5a is as follows give the cell address for the active cell shown in the picture okay so the active cell is the one of labeled there i've put in the rectangle in lady there that is the active cell so what is it called that cell is called c8 okay it is called c8 okay then we come to question 5b. Write the formula that was entered in the cell B9 to calculate the total. Write the formula that was entered in cell B9 to calculate the total. So the formula that was entered is um, equal sum open bracket b3 colon b7 close bracket which is equal to b3 plus b4 plus b5 plus b6 plus b7 okay that is the formula that was entered okay we come to question uh, 5b2 remember that one was 5b1 now, 5B2 is what formula was entered in cell B10 to calculate the biggest price? What formula was entered in the cell B10 to calculate the biggest price? Okay, so the, the formula that was entered is max open bracket B3 colon B7. Okay, that is the formula that was entered max open bracket b3 colon b7 close bracket that is the formula that was entered okay let's go to question 5c what formula was entered in cell b11 to obtain number of devices what formula was entered in cell b11 to obtain number of devices so the correct answer is equal to sign count open bracket b3 colon b7 close bracket that is the formula that was entered the one i've written there on the screen okay so we come to question 5d question 5d is as follows in what order have items in the spreadsheet been entered? In what order have the items in the spreadsheet been entered? Okay, so the order, when you look at the items, when you go back to the diagram and look at the items, the order in which the diagrams have been the, the sorry, sorry, not diagrams, the items have been entered when you look at the diagram. So when you look at this diagram, they are in alphabetical order and in ascending. They are in alphabetical order, descending order. Sorry, what did I say? Alphabetical order in descending. As you can see, we are starting with a word scanner, then printer, then mouse, then keyboard. It's more or less like we are starting from Z coming to A. Okay, so that is descending order. So they are in alphabetical order and 
in descending order. So I can write my answer as in alphabetical descending order. In alphabetical descending order. Okay, so basically those are the answers to question 5. If you have got questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the comment section. And if you found the entire video helpful, please remember to like and share with your friends. Remember, sharing is caring. I said that earlier on. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, I encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be grateful to see your subscription to our YouTube channel. And if you have got some recommendation, if there are somewhere where you need to encourage us to do well, please will be down on our knees to receive your recommendation as well remember easy learning z mathematics the future is bright it's not going to grow without your support it can be negative form and positive form we are also learning as well remember we're not just teaching we're also learning so if we know how we can impact your life positively we'll be grateful to go with that way it doesn't matter the number of uh, queries will be even if you are single the single recommendation will do it because our aim is to make sure that you do well in your exams so please don't hesitate to say or to to tell us your observation so that we can work on it otherwise thank you so much for watching you really encourage us to make more videos through your views so thank you so much we we'll continue making videos and we wish you um a successful examination do your best we believe in you that's why we're making these videos thank you so much god bless you